Hi, this is Scott Shepherd, Photo Media Instructor at Lake Area Technical Institute, Watertown, South Dakota. And this is a tutorial that is going to show you how to use tools made by a software company called Nick to create an HDR look photo. Specifically, what I'm going to show you in this tutorial is how to go from a photo that looks like this, which I took in Washington State a few years ago, to a photo that looks like that. First, let's talk a little bit about HDR. HDR stands for High Dynamic Range. And when the human eye looks at a scene, let's say this one in an old abandoned farmhouse north of Watertown, it has the capacity, because it is a remarkable instrument, it has the capacity to see the very brightest part of the photo and the very darkest part of the photo. The human eye has a high dynamic range. The difference between what is really dark and what is really bright in a photo, it can distinguish all of the detail or a lot of the detail. The camera on the other hand sees things very differently. If I expose for the bright part of this scene I can see the trees and the corn and the sky and the sun that filters in onto the floor but I can't see the details in the shadow and so that if I expose for the shadows what I see uh, is the interior of the room but as you can see all of the details are gone in the very brightest part. So the camera has some limits in terms of the dynamic range. Now Photoshop has a, um, a, a tool that lets you take two photos such as this one and this one and combine them in a way that results in something like this. And in fact what you're looking at here are really two photos. But in this tutorial I want to show you that there is software that will do this as well. And so what we're going to do is take this photo and turn it into this photo and we're just, this is only a single photo, I'm not layering anything here. So let's get started. Now I should tell you that the problem with NIC is that they're not, the, the NIC tools is that they're not cheap. And the two that I'm using are NIC Color Effects Pro 4, which is just released. The academic version of that sells for $99.99. And then I'm also using NIC HDR Effects, which sells for 50 bucks. I'm going to start with Color Effects 4, and this is a little bit of a formula that I've created. So I'm going to go to Filter. Now, by the way, these are um, this is software that you load and it becomes plugins in Photoshop. And I go to Filter, Nick Software, Color Effects Pro. Now I'm using a very cool tool that's part of the new Color Effects Pro set called Tonal Contrast and it's down towards the uh, bottom on the left. The Tonal Contrast tool is very cool because it will let you adjust uh, mid-tones and um, highlights. And actually what I'm trying to do to this photo is <laughs> adjust it so that we have better detail in the clouds, but also a little better detail in the uh, shadows, which are the trees, for example. So I've used the tonal contrast to adjust the details uh, in the highlights, which are the clouds. I'd like to see a little bit more detail there. I also want to adjust the midtones a little bit, which are the, the medium dark part of this. And then also we can adjust shadows as well, although we're not seeing so much uh, difference there. Now I'm satisfied with that. I mean, there's a whole lot that I could do with this. But let's just stick with that, and we'll apply that filter. Now what Nick will do is it'll apply this filter as a layer over the top of the um, previous photo, or the, the original photo. I can turn that layer off and on so we can see what we've done to this photo. I can also adjust the opacity of the top layer if I think that I've overdone a little bit. But in this case, I don't mind overdoing it because actually the next step is going to really take this photo over the top in terms of uh, software effects. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to flatten this photo into one layer. And now I'm going to open up an other set of tools. This time it's HDR Effects Pro. And this is where uh, the software really does something to the photo that turns it into something that's just not quite real. Now, by the way, this is the default, but you notice all the way down the side, there are all kinds. In fact, there are 32 different um, subsets of this filter that you can apply. 
Now I've worked with this a little bit and actually the one that I'm going to apply is the one called Vibrant Textures. And you can see what that does to the photo. Now if I go Vibrant Details and Colors, it actually adjusts it a little bit. It actually <laughs> takes the color that's in this photo and really boosts it. It's already boosted quite a bit in this one as well. And over here you can see that there are all kinds of uh, adjustments that you can make to this photo. Um, frankly, I'm going to leave it as it is. And so I'm going to click OK. And now I have this photo as an HDR photo, but the effect is created totally by the plugin made by Nick Software. Anyway, this is another way to create a, an HDR look in a photo without actually taking two photos and layering, layering them. Hope this helps. Thanks for listening.